I think that songs are the most powerful things on the planet, more powerful than any other piece of art. There's something about the combination of music and lyrics in particular that I think gives a song a leg up on all the other art forms. A painting is there, you look at it and you, you interact with it. Uh, a, a book you read, your mind wanders, you create the characters in your mind. But a song is interacting inside of itself and you're interacting with it. You know, so there's this dance between the music and lyric that not only do you get to see play out, you get to act out with. And I think of the art forms, um, the song is the strongest one for making, for taking you back to a place and putting you um, inside of a, of a year or a time or a relationship. I am first and foremost a songwriter. Every project is only as good as their songs, so to me the song rules everything. And to make a living making up songs, it still doesn't quite compute. It's a, a really powerful way to make a living. It's just, um, I feel very lucky, you know, that very small percent that actually pays their bills with music. And uh, I never forget how fortunate I am. And also how fragile this business is, and that tomorrow, you could see me making a latte at Starbucks. I remember when I bought my first house, I couldn't actually believe that the bank was selling me this house with the job I had as a songwriter. And I was driving around this neighborhood looking at all these nice these, these people and I'm thinking, wow, you know, at any moment they're gonna figure out I'm a songwriter. And I mean, that letter that they sent me approving my credit, they're gonna come and get that letter. It's the, uh, it's the toughest job to love there ever was, but you, you gotta love it because you that's that's what you do. So. And heck, I can't do nothing else. <laughs> Man, songwriting's everything. I mean, I, I love what I do. I, 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 uh, I really hate to do anything else. I mean, I've been blessed to do it and been blessed to be, um, you know, have some songs out there on the radio that, that, that help me make a living. I don't take anything for granted in, uh, in this business and um, when I heard uh, Do You Believe Me Now on the radio, I was sitting in a bonanza with my, um, my wife and my, my in-laws. And it was as thrilling then uh, that, you know, when I first heard it, it's, it's always hard for me to believe that my song actually gets on the radio and, you know, millions of people are hearing the song. It just, it, it freaks me out a little bit. Making a living in and around music is something that, uh, I, I, that's a, a daily big smile for me. The cliche is, you know, find something that you love to do and you'll never work a day in your life. And I think that there's a certain amount of truth to that and I think that there's an enormous lie hidden inside of that also. Uh, the fact is, is that we work our asses off all the time, constantly trying to uh, make it in a really, really difficult industry. The payoff is, is that you get to do it with the greatest people on the planet. In our business, there's so many, uh, you know, things that could go wrong, and uh, you might not get it right. And when you hear one on the radio, you know somehow you got something right, and somehow the stars align. It's the most rewarding part of our of our job. And it's like a miracle, you know, how hard it is to get a song um, from the writing process to the cutting process, and then to get it on radio. It's 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 a miracle. So I'm um, I'm always highly appreciative. Because um, you never know when it's going to be your last song you, of yours you hear on the radio. So, I'm aware of that. <laughs> so I try to love it while it's happening. Never gets old. Gosh, it, it, it never gets old and it's like a drug, you know? Once you do that, you want more, you want more, and you're never quite satisfied, which I think is a, a trait of most uh, successful songwriters, you know? We don't rest on our laurels. We always think, oh, we're only as good as our next song. We gotta keep going, keep going. I try to write what I know, and um... And when I, when I can't do that, I just write for the heck of it just because I'm having fun, because writing's fun. I mean, I write every day. You know, I think as a writer, um, the songs that really end up meaning the most or being the most are, are usually the ones you know something about or, or you've lived a little of or, you know, to where you can really you can't express exactly what it's like to be in that situation or what it's like to be the, you know, the person behind this song. It's a life of the mind, really, where you can, you can create these things that, uh, that didn't exist and now they do and uh, people can smile at them or laugh at them or you know, put them down, even critics. 
I don't know how it works for everybody else, but every day I, I, I give thanks for being able to go and write a song. It affects me the same way as it did the first time I wrote a song. So, you know, I, it's, it's really not about the money, although I like the money, but it's really, it's, still, it's about the passion of writing a, song, a great song. There's an energy in any place that, that draws, you know, a particular group or a particular set of people that have sort of the same sense of ideals or the same sense of accomplishment. And, and, and Nashville certainly has that. And the reason that I got to become a songwriter is that I felt that energy within the first few weeks of when I came up here in 1979. And there's just something about getting up and going and getting your Starbucks in the morning in a place where you know that all over town there are other people who are trying to accomplish this very difficult thing that you're trying to accomplish are also getting their Starbucks and, you know, fixing to go out and try to tackle one of the most difficult undertakings on the planet. And that's capture life, love, death, happiness in a three-minute song that rhymes and, and then try to get it to 500 radio stations. This is nearly impossible. The possibilities of creating something in some little room right down here on Music Row that you meet people travel all over the world and you start writing with some guy and he'll go, I love that song. It was out, it's out places you've never been. I don't even know how to really describe the feeling of something reaching like that that you did with one or two other people in a little room with a little piano, a little guitar on these little blocks. It's amazing to me. There's no other place like Nashville. Um, I'm not sure that anybody's worked out a, a talent per capita figure, but if that is such a thing, I think we might be on top there. This town is so special, and there's a competition here, but it's really um, based on the friendly competition. We're happy when our peers do well. Uh, we want it for ourselves, of course, but, but it, there's this, this friendship and this bond. This town is Gosh, my favorite town in the world, I'd say, you know. Nashville's writing community is tremendous. Uh, there's so much talent in this town, and it's such a great town to be a part of. And, uh, I, man, I'm thankful that, that uh, you know, I wanted to be in country music because this is where it happens, and, and uh, this town is real special, especially when it comes to writers. I wouldn't be any, anywhere else on the planet to be a songwriter except for Nashville, Tennessee. There's one in every crowd.